one of the important topics in modern India is uh, uh, Indian National Movement. This one of the topics is Indian National Movement we are calling. Indian National Movement is one of the important topics you can see. This Indian National Movement that can be so this uh, divided under three heads. One is in the year 1885 to 1905. This one is called Moderate Era we are calling. This is called Moderate Era we are calling. So after that so in the year 1905 to 1920 this is called Extremist Era. This is called Extremist Era we are calling. And 1920, 1947, 1922, 1947 we are calling this one as Gandhian Era. It is called Gandhian Era we are calling. Like this three phases that are there in this uh, Indian National Movement we can say 1885 to 1905 this is called Moderate Era. They believed in peaceful ideas and peaceful methods and Extremist Era if you see they believed in a little bit violence and after that 1920-47 it is completely under the control of Mahatma Gandhi only like that three phases they are there in this uh, uh, movement we can say. First one we can see in this Moderate Era in this uh, Moderate Era if you see moderate era leader of moderates was gopalakrishna gokhale gk gokhale is called the leader of these moderates gk gokhale is called the leader of moderates and already i told you he is called the political guru of mahatma gandhi also in the sense here gopalakrishna gokhale sacrificed life also at the same time he guided things to so political situations to mahatma gandhi so, and he is considered the political guru we are calling. So, in the year 1885, in connection with this only, so this moderates, so in the year 1885, Indian National Congress that came into force, INC we are calling, in the year 1884 only, Indian National Congress that came into force, INC we are calling. It is started by retired ICS officer. It is started by retired. ICS Indian Civil Services Officer that is by A.O. Hume only started this one. A.O. Hume, Alan, Octavian, Hume we are calling. But it is named as Congress by Dada Bhai Norozi. This Dada Bhai Norozi only. Dada Bhai Norozi named this one as so Congress. Organization that was started by A.O. Hume but it is called uh, Congress by Dada by Norozi. You know this Dada by Norozi is called Grand Old Man of India. He was called Grand Old Man of. He was called Grand Old Man of India. We are calling. And the uh, book written by him was Poverty and Un-British Rule in India. This is Poverty and Un-British Rule in India. Poverty and Un-British uh, Rule in India. That was the book written by this one. Rule in India, we are calling poverty and un-British rule in India. Drain of wealth that was discussed in this uh, so book, poverty and un-British rule in India. Like that, Dada Bhai Norozi named this one as Indian National Congress. We can say INC came into force in the year 1885, and moderates mainly concentrated on this Indian National Congress. So this moderate era we are calling peaceful methods and peaceful ideas were followed by this moderate leaders. Leader of moderate moderates is Gopalakrishna Gokhale. Other leaders like uh, so one is Mahadeva Govinda Ranade, one is M.G. Ranade, one of the important leaders existed. One is Dada Bhai Naurozi is also one of the leaders existed in this Dada Bhai Naurozi we are calling. So at the same time, so this uh, so Surendranath Benerji, S.N. Benerji is also one of the important leaders existed in this one and W.C. Benerji is also one of the leaders Feroz Shah Mehta this Feroz Shah Mehta is also one who existed in this one like this many leaders Badruddin Tabji, Sardin Shah Vacha so all these are the moderate leaders who existed in this moderate era we are calling moderates believed in already you know peaceful ideas and peaceful methods in getting independence to India. In the year 1885 only, this Indian National Congress that was started. First meeting of INC in the year 1885, this first meeting of Indian National Congress, INC meeting, so that took place there in INC meeting that took place there in Bombay. 
So if this meeting that took place there in Bombay at Gokula Das Tezapal, at Gokula Das Tezapal Sanskrit College, Gokula Das Tezapal Sanskrit College only this meeting that took place, first meeting we are calling. In Bombay only this meeting that was Sahal. And the meeting was headed by, this is headed by W.C. Banerjee. This Banerjee, he was the leader for this one. Who headed this the first meeting of Indian National Congress? Banerjee. Expected maximum numbers to this first meeting of INC, but only 72 people only attended this one. 72 people represented so this first meeting of Indian National Congress. So this uh, uh, 72 people. Hence what happened during that time? This uh, Viceroy of India was Lord Dufferin. This Lord Dufferin, he was the Viceroy of India. He commented that it is microscopic minority. Congress is nothing but what in the sense? It is microscopic. It is microscopic minority like that he said. It is said was, it is called microscopic minority by so this one only. Microscopic minority like that, Lord Dufferin called. Evo Hume commented this one as safety valve theory. Evo Hume also. Evo Hume, what he said in the sense, it is safety valve. Safety valve theory like that. So this Evo Hume commented this one. Like this, anyhow, Indian National Congress that came into force in the year 18. 85 only. First meeting of INC that took place in the year 1885. So there in Bombay at Gokula Das Tezapal Sanskrit College. So after that, so these regularly meetings were conducted. In the year 1886, INC Indian National Congress, so meeting, INC meeting that was held in Calcutta only. It was held in Calcutta. It was headed by Dada Bhai Nauroji. This Dada Bhai Nauroji became leader for this one. And after that, in the year 1887, meeting was held in Madras. This Madras meeting that was headed by Badruddin Tyabji. This Badruddin Tyabji, he was the first Muslim to head the meeting of INC. This is important also. Badruddin Tyabji was the first Muslim to head the meeting of Indian National Congress. After that, in the year 1888, meeting that was held in Allahabad. This Allahabad meeting that was headed by so first Britisher that is George Yule we can say this George Yule he was the chairperson for this one so in Allahabad meeting after that in the year 1889 also what happened meeting was held so there in second time in Bombay second time this meeting that was held in Bombay and second Britisher or second foreigner Wedderburn this Wedderburn became leader for this one Wedderburn became leader for this meeting. Like that, every year they were conducting meetings. In the year 1890, they conducted a second meeting there in Calcutta second time. It was held there in Calcutta. It was headed by Firoz Shah Mehta. This Firoz Shah Mehta became the leader for this one. Like this, every time they were conducting meetings and all the things went on well. They were discussing problems of India, maybe poverty, maybe illiteracy or ignorance. So all these uh, things they used to have, so uh, conduct discussions on these problems. Like this, every year they conducted meetings and they discussed the problems of India. They wanted to bring them to the notice of the British government during that time. Other than Congress, if we see, in the year 1893, in the year 1893, this Ganesh festival that was started by, Ganesh festival we are calling, this Ganesh festival that was started by Balaganga Tilak only. Main motto of starting this Ganesh festival, bringing unity among the people, bringing nationalism in India. That is the main motto of this one. In 1893 already we know, Swami Vivekananda attended World Parliament of Religious Conference. That is one of the important things happened. In the same year 1893 only, Anibisan came to India. That is also one of the things which happened. At the same time, first time in the world, New Zealand government. This New Zealand government granted right to vote to women. That's also one of the things happened. Like this, many incidents that are there in the year 19, 1893. So Ganesh festival, that is also one of the incidents which took place, we know. After that, in the year 1895, in the year 1895, this Balaganga Tilak, he also started Sivazi festival in memory of this Sivazi. Sivazi festival, 
that was started by sir this one only shivaji festival we are calling the shivaji festival that was started by this one the main motto of this is also to bringing unity among the people bringing nationalism among the people like that in which year in the year 1895 only shivaji festival 1893 ganesh festival these two are started by tilak to enlighten people you know tilak started newspapers one is kesari and one is maratha these two are the newspapers started by this one one is kesari and one is maratha these two are the newspapers started by this one kesari is published in maratha language and maratha is published in english like that so these things happen and the books written by this balagangadhar tilak is one is architic home of foreigners one is architic this architic home of this architic home of foreigners that's one of the books written by this man and second one is geeta rahasya geeta rahasya that is a book written by this one in jail only so this uh, two important books are written by this balagangadhar tilak like that he played very important role also ganesh festival shivaji festival these two were started after that if you see in the year 1896 in the year 1896 first time what happened in the sense first time in calcutta first time so in calcutta this vande mataram song that was sung vande mataram this vande mataram song vande mataram song that was sung first time in calcutta in 1896 only it is our national song you know very well and this vande mataram song that was taken from ananda mat this was taken from ananda mat only this ananda mat that was written by bankim chandra chatterjee it was written by bankim chandra chatterjee only like that so this bankim chandra chatterjee's uh, novel ananda mat only it was taken so like that first time this vande mataram song that was sung in the year 1896 after that 1897 already you know one of the social reform movements especially this in the year 1897 ramakrishna mission that came into force already we have discussed this one ramakrishna mission this ramakrishna mission that was started by this swami vivekananda and vivekananda is called spirit of india udbodhana prabuddha bharata they are the newspapers all these you know so then after this one important incident say first see in the year 1899 1902 1905 lord karjan is appointed as viceroy lord karjan he was appointed as viceroy in india so he said what in the sense indian national congress is in oscillation in india and i will try for its disappearance like that he said lord karjan and in the year 1902 this lord karjan only introduced or uh, this introduced or appointed this fraser commission this fraser commission that was appointed by this one main motto of fraser commission is so bringing police reforms this police reforms only for police reforms it was appointed and this fraser commission recommended in every district a dsp must be appointed a deputy superintendent of police must be appointed in district level so to maintain law and order like that it said like this fraser commission there is one of the important works uh, which took place in the year 1902 only after that 1904 if you see many incidents there are there in the year 1904 indian universities act was passed indian universities act we are calling this indian universities act came into force in the year 1904 only according to this indian universities act so university is empowered given powers to appoint all the personnel who are working in the university previously they are appointed by the british government now powers are given to university only immediately whenever vacancy arises they they used to appoint this personnel also like that that is one of the important things came into force and in the same year 1904 only in the year 1904 only indian monuments act that was also passed indian monuments act indian monuments act that was also passed in the year 1904 by this lord karjan only so in this uh, same year 1904 only department of archaeology that was also started in the same year 1904 this department of archaeology department of archaeology that was started so first director of department of archaeology is so this alexander cunningham alexander 
Alexander Cunningham. This Alexander Cunningham, he was the first director of this department of archaeology. Like that, here what happened in the sense, all these important issues came to light. In 1904, one is Indian Universities Act, one is Indian Monuments Act was passed, Department of Archaeology came into force. All these came into force during the period of Lord Curzon only. So like that, that incident. After that, 1905. In the year 1905, what happened? So this uh, Lord Curzon introduced divide and rule policy. Divide and rule policy that was introduced by this one and divided this Bengal into two. Bengal division that took place. Bengal division we are calling. This Bengal division that took place. This Bengal division. One is uh, East Bengal we are calling. One is West Bengal. In East Bengal, today we are calling this as Bangladesh and West Bengal, present it is existing in India. So in East Bengal, 90% people belongs to so this Islam community. In West Bengal, 90% belongs to Hindu. By creating religious clashes between these two communities, major religions, he wanted to bring differences and disputes also. But against this Bengal division, what happened? In the same year 1905, one day Mataram movement that was started. One day Mataram. One day Mataram means we are all one. Don't divide us. Basically, we are all Indians. Don't divide like that. One day Mataram movement that was started by moderates as well as extremist leaders. It was started by moderates as well as extremists also started this one. Moderates and extremists. But what happened in the sense? This moderate said what in the sense? Moderate said that it is a problem of only Bengal. That's why the movement should continue only in Bengal. But extremist leaders, they said that enlightening people in India, that's very important against the British and bringing movements against British, that's more important like that. They wanted to start this Vande Matram throughout India. What are the slogans of this Vande Matram movement? Slogans of Vande Matram movement is one is Swaraj and one is Swadesi. Swaraj, Swadesi, Swabhiman. These are all the slogans of this Vande Matra movement. Swaraj, Swadesi, Swabhiman, they became the slogans of Vande Matra movement. Boycotting schools and colleges, boycotting uh, uh, this public or government offices, boycotting law courts, hartals, picketing, zarnas. So many activities have been so, conducted by these extremist leaders and moderate leaders they concentrated only in bengal to enlighten people moderate leader was gopalakrishna gokhale and extremist leader was extremist leader was balagangadhar tilak like that so all these important issues they went on so with the efforts of this balagangadhar tilak Bipin Chandra Paul, they are the leaders of extremists, you know very well. Who are the leaders of extremists? Leaders of extremism, Bob. one is this Bala Gangadhar Tilak. One is Bala Gangadhar Tilak, he was first and foremost one, he is leader. And Lala Lajapati Rai, Lala Lajapati Rai is also a leader. And at the same time, Bipin Chandra Paul is a leader. Bipin Chandra Paul. This Bipin Chandra Paul also a leader. All these uh, leaders belong to this extremism only. And at the same time, Aravinda Ghosh previously, so he was also one of the so leaders. Aravinda Ghosh, we are calling this Aravinda Ghosh actually worked as professor in Gujarat, but he was attracted with the speeches of Balaganga Tirak and joined this extremism. But at last he was vexed with all this extremism and other things. And he went to Pondicherry. He went to Pondicherry and started Aravind Ashram there. So this is how this question was asked in the exam. So who was an extremist leader turned towards a sainthood or saint like that it was. He went to Pondicherry and started this Aravind Ashram. So this Aravind Ashram that was started by this one only. So like that, so extremist leader uh, towards went towards the sainthood was Aravinda Ghosh. But one day Madra movement that became very popular movement in India, in many states it was spreaded. Even during this movement, so this Bipin Chandra Paul, in 1907, Bipin Chandra Paul, one of the leaders of this uh, extremist, Bipin Chandra Paul, he also toured this Andhra region. He came to Andhra region also during this time in the year 1907 like that so this Vande Matra movement that became very popular movement with all this what happened Bala Gangadhar Tilak he was arrested in the year 1908 Tilak was sent to jail this Tilak he was sent to jail in the year 1908 he was sent to Mandalay jail 
you know this Mandalay jail that is located there in Myanmar, Burma. So like that six years imprisonment that was awarded to this Balagangadhar Tilak.